Good everyone, and welcome to this video. Today it's a first flight in the Key 442 Otsu, also known as the Putin Scoop by Harry Feet. And well, he actually inspired me to pick this thing up. I'd been eyeing it up for a little while, and well, the history of the guns that are on this thing, not the 50 cows, we obviously know about the 50s. Um, the history of the 40mm Ho 301s are actually quite interesting. They fire, I believe it's caseless ammunition. And they basically act like a, sort of like a rocket propelled grenade, but a really shit one. These guns fire an abysmal muzzle velocity. I think it, the muzzle velocity is like 300 meters a second, if that. Harry Feet goes into it more in detail in his video. It's on his channel. But, oh my god, this the, the low velocity is weird. But... From what I've been able to hear from Harry Feet's side, if you hit a plane with it, it should die. Unless it's a Sunderland, because he caused them a honey badger. I'll be the judge of that. Obviously, I'm not going to engage a Sunderland, because, well, I don't engage Sunderlands if I can avoid it, but even so. So, obviously, it's essentially just a, a normal Key 44 2 with two of the 50 cows removed and 40mm House 3 ones placed. Well, obviously, there. Now, we only have 10 rounds of gun in the 40mm, and their fire rate is pretty pretty insane for the size of the gun, 360 rounds per minute. Now, obviously, we do have the foam from 103s, but they're 900 rounds a minute. These 40mm will expand very quickly, and you can see the clips that feed the ammunition in. They're only 10-round clips. The thing is, though, is that these poor sods were meant to go against B-17s, B-24s, and even B-29s. <laughs> The thing is, though, the effective range of these guns is about 100 meters in real life, so that's going to be interesting to use. But I'm looking forward to it. Now, obviously, we will have to potentially fight the CW21, which this thing can hold its own, from what I've been able to find. So we'll see how we do. Obviously, this is going to be the last video that I record for the eventual going dark stage of the channel, obviously. And well. Obviously, we'll come back to the 197. So, Harry, if you don't worry, mate, not neglecting the 197, the Samurai Edition, as he calls it. But hey, we'll see how we do. So, let's jump in and let's see what we can get up to in this little terror. Now, the thing is about the Key 442 Otsu is you can also carry bombs in it. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing that because, well, that's just for weirdos. I'm going to put air targets on because I haven't fired a Japanese 12.7s in quite a bit, so I'm going to get used to them again. Obviously, Default on the 40 mils is HE only. It only fired HE. But if you look, obviously 56 grams of TNT equivalent. That's actually not that bad. I mean, obviously 3 millimeters of penetration. Because, well, it's a high explosive round. It's not exactly designed to kill anything. Except for planes. But it's such a weird gun. I mean, if it was down to me, I'd have put Ho 155s in this thing. The 30 mil. Seeing if the wings could take it, and if not, just send a Ki-84 up, which could take the weight of the 30 mils and still use them. But hey, I wasn't around when the Japanese decided to do this. But I will admit, this is probably one of the weirdest guns we have in game. And that's, that's one thing that drew me to this aircraft, because of those weird guns. Now, I've never fired the 40 mils in actual combat, so I might miss. But if we hit, we should kill. But anyway, I will see you all in the battle. Well, we're into our first game on the consolidation of positions on Sicily. So this might mean we get a dance here, which would be lovely for our first game. Now, due to the guns being quite far out on the wings, I'm going to experiment with 400 meters gun conversions. I think Harry Fee had 300? I, I can't remember. One of the point that Harry Feet raised was that he wanted to find out if the 40mm guns were good against ground targets, so... I'll have to take this thing up in tank RB at some point, pal, with um, the Chiha Kai. I'll, I'll certainly give that a go for you. And some retards already opened up on the runway. Hooray! And he's decided to flip his HE-100 over. Right, well, let's get in the air and let's have a look. 
So obviously, if we were being a key 44, it climbs, it climbs like me out of bed when you promised me food. So it's going to climb really, really well. It's a key 44. They basically put a bomber engine in such a light airframe. So that's always nice. And well, this thing does climb like stink. We're already at 2,500 feet, and yeah, what's he doing? Okay, that was random. What's this guy doing? Level 43, and you got to take off. What a freaking dumb skull. But hey, that's that's people for you. Is he spawning back in? Yes, he is. Thank God for that. So let's hopefully not meet a honey badger, aka the Sutherland. And let's see if we can climb up these bombers, eh? Well, potential bombers. Like I said, I, I wanted this thing for a bit of time. It's just after seeing Harry Feet's video with the just how the, the guns just go boop. Y you'll see what I mean. Like the guns just go boop. Oh god no. Oh god no. <laughs> oh there's three of the fuckers. I hope we've got a fuck with 189, but look at look at them helicoptering. Oh, this is just an enemy team of hell. I mean, minus the Vanguard, but what the fuck? Chikers, CW21s, Tomahawk, anything else that could cause PTSD? Seriously. Well, this might be a short first flight, is all I'll say. MiG-3 as well, which got a buff, like, fuck's sake, Gaijin. This is why the BR of the CW needs to go up, because this is just fucking insane. And I mean, he's even out climbing me. Like, come on. Well, fuck off 189, managed to deal with one of them. I swear, that... that See the like the CW as a whole. Like it even needs a BR increase or needs to be hit with a nerf bat so hard. And I know Harry V doesn't like him on a say the word nerf bat. But I'm sorry, if he's out climbing me like I'm nothing, there's something wrong. Let's have a look at this guy, level 67. But just look at that. 109B fighting a freaking CW. There's just no hope in hell for the 109B. What the hell kind of balance is this? If I'm in a key 44, which technically, well, in fact, this thing was famed for its high climb rate, and then you got this guy space climbing like a motherfucker, and he's already higher than me. And you call this balance? I don't think so, Gaijin. Well, it appears he's slightly AFK, which is what I'm hoping for. Oh, no, he's... I think he's spotted us. But I'm sorry, there's there's no way this aircraft is a... should be... A, well, that aircraft should be at 2.0. But it even outclimbs one of the best climbing aircraft at its BR. Like it's nothing. He's diving away. I think he's going for a bomber or something. That poor Stuka. I just just look at my team. Well just just look at that thing go. He will never rip his ring his wings off. I, I can push this thing to about five hundred miles an hour, but this is just disgusting. Well, if I'm gonna Go back to the airfield and J out from this game. I want to get, at least get one kill to poo guns. Right, he's coming up vertical. Yes, he is. I have the energy advantage, though. So. Right, where are you? Just see him there. So guys, do you call this shit balance? When the CW21's just basically mopped up my entire team and I'm the last guy alive? 
I don't think so. What I would refer to this is, is complete bollocks. There is absolutely no way I can carry this team at this point. Even if I have the energy advantage, that CW is going to find a way to spank me. But just look at my team. Not a bad, that's the CW coming up for a head-on. I believe it is, because that, that looks like 50 cal fire. But he's still coming, and he's still out climbing me. How broken can you get? Yep, that's the CW. He's still coming up. I really want to poot this guy. Fuck you, pooted him. Right, well, if we can take this Tomahawk out, that'd be nice, but... There's just so many enemy planes up. Right, well, we, I think we pooted him, but it didn't kill him. But it did enough damage. Let's use our speed, gain some altitude, and see if we can turn the tide against these guys. Obviously, a Chike is just going to be as dangerous. But look, this guy's pulling vertical after just being pooted. At least I think I pooted him anyway. It seemed like it. Chinese Chiker pulling up. There we go. Second kill. Right, where's that hurricane? Because we can scratch him and then we'll head back to the base. There is no way I'm winning this battle on my own. Where's that hurricane? The where's that hurricane? There he is. We'll get a third frag and then we'll get out of here. But this team is just completely gone. We managed to kill the CW, which is always nice. I'm sorry, if you if Gaijin thinks this shit's balanced, they need a real engine check. Okay. Let's keep our airspeed up, we'll just go back in the vertical. I honestly don't give a shit. I want to stay out of the sight of that tomahawk. The tomahawk's leaking, so. Oh, for fuck's sake, there's a fucking chai curve, right? Turn around, we're going back to base. We are not continuing. Right, base is that way, yeah. Like I thought it was. This is just fucking ridiculous, people. Yeah, th the tomahawk's gone down after being pooted. Good. This this team's just gone, people. There's, there's absolutely nothing I can do. That chai curve's still following. I actually didn't think I'd actually get a decent battle out of this thing for the first battle. Yeah, the Tomahawk's landing. Chike's just gonna sit up there, I don't blame him. Oh, he's just, he's just that part of the air. That explains why. I don't even know if this airfield has any triple A. Yep, Tomahawk went down. Lovely. Third kill. Under a lot of pressure now. I'm gonna try and land, but no doubt this scumbag will try and fucking bolt me. I'm still coming in a bit too fast as well. What's he doing? No, he's just he's just flying around. Flaps, use the guns. I'm honestly surprised we got out of this one alive, folks. I honestly am. I didn't think we'd get out of that alive. But we got three kills. Got to poot two planes. And one of them took a bit to die, but... That's fair enough. At least I think I pooted that P-40F or that H-81. Well... Safe to say, I'm not taking off again. <laughs> um, let, let, let's go over the plane briefly whilst we wait for the repair and everything. So like I say, the poop cannons seem to work actually pretty dang well. But it's just a fact, if your team does this bad, I mean... The only guys to get kills were the Falcon 189 and what was the other one? Level 100, that's not what I was looking for. Uh, 
was an M5 M4 on a mid three. <laughs> that team was complete garbage, though, people. There was nothing I could have done. Like, I could have potentially took off, but when I find a Chaika with a severe altitude advantage and everything, as well as several unidentified aircraft, I just see no reason. But hey, what a way to end it. Ending on a defeat, then have it well, and having to defeat myself because of assignments. But anyway, this is obviously the last video for a couple of weeks. Um, I'm expected to come back on the 20th, obviously, one on E7. Bear in mind that is subject to change, or maybe way longer, or maybe way shorter. There's a the defeat. But even so. I hope you enjoyed today's video on the Key 442 Otsu, aka the Putin Scoop. First impressions, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Like I said, the guns seem to work pretty well. It's just when your team's that bad, I ain't carrying your ass. But um, I will see you all in a couple of weeks' time. I hope you enjoyed the videos that I put out for you today. I'm going to go do some assignment work. I will see you all, well, in a couple of weeks' time. See you then.